All right, so in this video, I'm gonna talk about how you, as a real estate professional, real estate agent, if you're doing mortgages, if you're doing investing, how you can get sellers and buyers off the fence, and especially how to get listings from Facebook advertising. <laughs> Hey, what's going on guys? Jeff Koga here and uh, welcome to Jeff Koga Live. Now, as I'm driving into the office, I wanna talk about something uh, for any of my real estate pros out there that is wanting to learn how to use Facebook to actually get listings. So if you want to get listings for your business, then pay attention to this, all right? Now, warning, okay, I am driving, so clearly, you're gonna have to imagine a lot of stuff that I'm gonna tell you <laughs> uh, versus uh, actually looking at a computer screen, but I wanted to do this because I was searching stuff on YouTube and uh, come to find out um, there's all these you know kind of theoretical stuff that's out there in the uh, YouTube land when it comes to real estate agents actually getting listings for uh, their business so let's put some couple of stuff first on where are we in Facebook advertisement land in real estate number one it's becoming kind of the norm okay meaning that if you don't know how to do it right or have at least like hit the boost button, then I don't know where you at, where you've been. Okay, you've been probably under a rock. Now, if you're watching this video, you probably know how to boost a post. Okay. Now, my recommendation is uh, do not do that. Okay. Facebook loves people that just randomly hits the boost button and puts you know five dollars, ten dollars, thirty dollars, fifty dollars, hundred dollars, whatever the amount is. And when you boost it, they love that. Why? Is because it's not targeted. Especially if you have a Facebook page uh, that you didn't build up with likes of like homeowners on there, right? Like it's not homeowners. Then then you boost it and you only have like a couple hundred on there, it's not going to be effective. That's just the bottom line. So how do you actually do it? Well, the cool part about this is that one, Facebook is becoming so popular as well as it's becoming so easy now to actually run advertisement for sellers and buyers that there's two parts to it, right? One, because it's easier, right? There's a lot of people who claim that they know what they're doing and or they presume that they're doing it the right way. Um, but in reality, um, they're not. Now, I'm not claiming to be a super, super expert of Facebook or whatever, okay? No, I am not, with all means, I am not an expert uh, when it comes to Facebook advertisement, all right? Why is because I, I learned this stuff from friends of mine who spends 50 grand a day on Facebook, okay? Those individuals are experts. But in the space of real estate, you don't really need to be an expert. You can be good enough to be able to make an impact and be able to change your business forever, all right? So number one thing you gotta understand is the different type of ads that is available, all right? Now, if you're not tech savvy, well, you don't need to do like lead capture sites anymore. Before, it was kind of like a requirement that you needed to have uh, to actually make Facebook advertisement work, all right? But now, you don't really need to do that. Now, why is that? Is because you can actually run advertisement from a call to action, all right? Call to action meaning like, hey, at the end of the video, what do you want people to do, right? Like in my case, before this video ends or if you're listening to this podcast, I'm gonna be like, hey, the call to action is subscribe to the podcast. So whatever it is, you gotta have to tell people what to do because if you don't tell people what to do, they don't do anything, all right? And uh, I know this because I have babysitted kids and not to say that you know sellers or buyers or kids or you watching this are kids, but it's kind of the same way, right? Like if you don't tell them exactly what to do, no one does it, right? Okay, so, so you gotta have a call to action. Now, the next question is what kind of ads do you actually run that will convert into listings? And this is where the magic really needs to happen is that me, I actually, I will take advertisement that has worked in 1940s, 1950s, all right? I'm talking about advertisement that was in the real estate space where it was in print advertisement, meaning like it was in newspaper, it was in magazines, and I take those advertisement and I just simply convert it to new age digital marketing pieces, meaning, you know, like one of my favorite ones is if you go to a swipe.co and you put in like real estate, all right? And then you'll see this advertisement. It'll say, it'll say something like this. It'll say, five years ago, this apartment was worth this, 
right? And then there's a picture of the apartment and then under it it says, now it's worth this. And then it goes into a storyline saying, hey, what if you actually, you know, bought this apartment at this time, all right? So why does that work? It, it, it's because it's that open loop, it's that intriguing question five years ago, okay? And everyone has the story of what if, all right? Meaning like, what if? What if I took that job? What if I bought that house? What if I sold that house at the same time? So everyone has this what if story. So you're really tying it into that and doing that. And when you do that, guess what? It works really, really well. And uh, I've tested this with a student of mine and it worked like gangbusters. Okay, and uh, it works especially in a hyper competitive marketplace because everyone else is just marketing simply well, like just sold. Hey, this is what it sold for. And does that work still? Yeah, it does. Okay, but you got to spend a little bit more money to do it versus you know, crafty copy. Another one that uh, we started testing out and it started working out is something called text video ad. All right, and uh, I got this from uh, just being aware of what's going on in the social media land, which is I saw a viral vi video that started coming around where it's mimicking a conversation between a husband and wife. All right, meaning that it's like, hey, it's going tick, 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 and you can look at the screen and literally like the husband is texting the wife and then the wife is texting the husband back and it's going back and forth and then you can hear the actual uh, texting sound as well. And that video had over like three million views or something. I was like, dang, all right? And then it dawned on me, I was like, huh, what if we use this in the real estate space? And then we can take an actual conversation that a seller has or even a buyer has um, when it comes to why they wanna do business or why they do not wanna do business and put it into a text conversation and I wonder if this will work and guess what happened? I did it and it worked. All right? And then the craziest part is this, is the amount of actual, the video being watched, because you can see the stats on it, right? Like how long people are watching the video. And this is one of the reasons why you don't necessarily need a lead capture page or the special website, because you can have a call to action to have people to just uh, call or message you. So we started doing that. And we can see people, right? Like literally, like if you just do like a just listing or something like that, right? And if it's a longer video, longer than a minute, two minute, three minute, then guess what? People fall off. They don't want to sit there and watch a long video, right? But this one, like a three minute video, like literally 50% of the people are sitting there watching the whole thing. And I'm like, damn. And now keep in mind, these targeting that we're doing is we're targeting homeowners. Uh, we're targeting people who own a house and excluding obviously like real estate agents, people in the real estate business, right? We want to exclude those people. We don't want to waste money running ads in front of them. And then we're running that and people are literally watching. It. We're like, oh, okay, this is cool. Okay. Now when they do that, now you have a secondary list of people. Like if, for example, you run this and you get a thousand viewers on this and 50% of the people finishes, right? That means you have 500 people who finished that conversation. And now in that text conversation, we're talking about the 18 year real estate cycle, right? Saying like, Hey, you know, is it a good time to, to sell? Is it a good time to buy or whatever? And we're just basically saying, Hey, yeah, you know what? It's an 18 year real estate cycle. So if you're going to sell, you should sell now, cash out and buy in a better location, especially if you have an a growing family, right? So that's kind of the message that we have. And uh, the next thing that we do, this is for my advanced folks, all right? So if you're just starting off on this, you know, just try to understand the, the conceptual reason on why this works, all right? Because we do a lot of social engineering on Facebook where, where we're indoctrinating people, meaning that we're not asking for a sale until they're primed. Okay, we're, we gotta make sure people are primed up. They're, they're oiled up to just to say yes. Because if you ask way too early, then they're gonna get turned off and be like, oh yeah, this person's just a salesperson. So behind it, after they watch that, then we take a non-branded page, okay? Meaning like it's a page that doesn't have the real estate agent's name. All right, it looks like kind of more of a local news uh, Facebook page, right? So it's like city centric name, it has like the city name and it says like city name news, right? And then we take an article that's that, that matches that viewer, right? And so, so imagine this, right? You watch a video saying, hey, there's a conversation between a seller um, with this real estate agent and you give value on that. And then after they watch the whole thing, now there's an ad saying, hey, the sky is falling because the market has hit 2006 level, right? And buyers are becoming hard. And now they're seeing that and they're just like, oh my gosh, what's going on? And then behind that, after they engage on that article, right? Because now you can make it where it says, hey, someone that actually engaged on that, right? That's what we do. So if they click on that, then we rerun the ad again on uh, retargeting and say, hey, if you need a buy or sell, please contact me, 
right? Kind of a simple 15 second. And the reason why we do a 15 second one is because you can run that on multiple platforms like uh, Instagram stories. We can run that um, in the audience network, right? The kind of the, the, the store, right? Like the whole platform that Facebook has and we can run it on that platform and that's what we do. So it's again, it's a process that we run. We don't just send them to like a straight up uh, squeeze page and be like, hey, opt in here to uh, find out what your house is worth. No, 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 no. We, you know, that, that used to work really, really well, um, you know, four years ago, five years ago when we were teaching this stuff, but as everyone else started doing it, right, it's becoming really more difficult, all right? So, so that's why we decided to do it a little bit more in the longer term and putting people through literally an ad funnel. And when we do that, it works like gangbusters and it just converts that much better where, where people call the listing agent uh, or the real estate agent uh, through that actual mode, right? So now if you want buyers to jump off the fence, I've used the Tony Robbins video and then in the city centric uh, page, right? Like the, the city tribune, city news. Okay, we take that and then we upload it in there and we run the ads in front of them with that. So now they're being indoctrinated, those those people from the original front end, front end video, right? The thousand people watched it and all the way to the end, 500 people watched it. And then we're running whatever the one thing that they want, we want to really like push and push in. Uh, we're running a different ad behind it. And then after that, we're running now, says, hey, need to buy and sell, come contact me. And that seems to be working really, really well. Now, a couple of years later, a couple months later, will that change? Probably, all right? But I figured that I record this video for anyone out there. And if you got value out of this, let me know by leaving a comment saying, hey, I got value out of this. Or even if you have any questions, let me know as well. And if I get enough questions, maybe, uh, or even comments of people saying, yes, Jeff, tell me more, then uh, I may do a video actually showing you the screenshots of some of these uh, ad examples. And uh, I'll do that for y'all. But, you know, we gotta at least have like, you know, um, like 20 comments or something like that at least um, so it'd be worthwhile for me to do and help y'all out so um, yeah so leave a comment below let me know all right that's all I got love y'all take care bye bye